Hello guys, it is the last part of the series video tutorials about how to create the assembly of rotor wind turbine in FreeCAD. So it is introduction to assembly for workbench. You can download it from add-on manager. And uh, so the first step is let's import the hub and wing models to our FreeCAD we have created it in previous video series previous video okay and now let's import our models to our document with assembly it is here let's transport it and uh, we will get our models in one document so let's uh, close previous document and let's save it like assembly for file in our hard driver let's call it like on the screen and now let's create the model using this tool and let's choose the parts and create in parts model our assembly it will be hap and will be wing and let's translate our body of wing and hub to our parts and let's save the project we have our hub and wing and now uh, we have to create the local coordinate systems for our constraints uh, we will be using it for connection our parts to the assembly so let's create the first uh, local coordinate system uh, on the hub and uh, like set the po position for this local coordinate system it will be here let's choose this edge we will uh, paste here the wing one and we have to create the three different local coordinate system for all wings it's three three okay and let's create the local coordinate system the last a uh, wing it will be wing 3 let's choose the hub create name it wing 3 click ok and let's make the mapping of our local coordinate system with edge ok you can change the position for example of our local coordinate system but here we have to set 0 0 and without rotation of lo our local coordinate system okay let's reload our model and let's create the local coordinate system for our wing uh, we have the one standard local coordinate system global and it is where leading edge and let's create the one else local coordinate system it's wing connection will connect okay and let's map this with this surface uh, with this edge let's try to choose it here I don't know why I don't I cannot to make it okay let's choose it this edge and click OK we have it here and let's reload the model and now we can to connect our local coordinate systems for wings and local coordinate system for hub in the model let's choose the model and make the past our hub it is general and let's choose the local coordinate system it is uh, central global coordinate system okay and paste it in the, to the model and now we have our hub in the model in our assembly and let's paste the wings 
to the assembly okay and now we have to connect our win connect local coordinate system with wing one and how can you see we can change the wing one two three and we will get the position of our wing in our hub it look um, correct and let's paste another wings and connect our wing with hub to the second connection and paste one else wing to our assembly let's insert wing click insert choosing the coordinate, local coordinate system wing 3 with wing connect click ok and now we have our assembly of rotor wind turbine and now we have to make the spreadsheet with with uh, tool where we can change the position of our wings in the connector because we have the there we have this gear we can change the angle of set of the wing in hub so let's um, map our rotate position of uh, local for local coordinate system of wing connector we stretch it connected a2 let's choose it click and if we change the wing position in and angles we can change the position of wing because we have the uh, 12 uh, gears uh, thread we uh, we have to choose the right uh, degrees number of degrees it is thread 12 and of gears um, let's set let's set the expression for this we will we will be delete our angle position of rotation to the 12 and multiply it by uh, position coefficient it will be one two three four and and, and To the 12 okay we set the zero we will get the standard position we set this and we will see we have changed our position in in the hub and the position is correct for connectors we can set the five for example And let's set the connection with first spreadsheet with map it with B2 cell. Okay. And let's create one else number of position. And let's set here c2 cell of spreadsheet and we can change the number one two three and get the position of wings in our hub hub it is very powerful um, tool for creation the assemblies Also, you can save it and let's hide the, our local coordinate systems and uh, we will be watching only the model on the screen. Okay, so um, let's reload the model. We have finished the creation of assembly in assembly for workbench. Let's save the project. 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.